With the first wave of free agency in the books, a lot of new mock drafts are hitting the internet. Joined by Paul Dottino, I am John Schmelk. And Paul, all those mock drafts that had wide receivers going to the Giants, they're changing their tune because the Giants signed Kenny Galladay. So let's start first, Paul, with the godfather of the draft industry. That's Mel Kuyper over at ESPN. He now has the Giants selecting Quiddy Pay, an edge rusher out of Michigan. Not a ton of production, just 11 and a half sacks over four seasons at Michigan, but he is expected to blow up his pro day. Well, I think that's the big key here, John, because a guy with a lot of experience for the Wolverines, you mentioned he played there for four years. He is expected to have a terrific pro day. I think in recent times, he is climbing up a lot of boards because people are thinking that he could be a boom sack specialist. Yeah, he might test better than any other edge rusher in the class. Let's go over to NFL Network, Bucky Brooks. He also has an edge rusher going to the Giants. He has Gregory Rousseau. Now, Paul, he does have the production, 15 and a half sacks back in 2019. He opted out in 2020, and he is a long, powerful athlete. You know, you hear the comparisons to Jason Pierre Paul, the former Giant, because of the length specifically, and then the athleticism as well. It remains to be seen how the Giants view him. He also did not play defensive end until he got to Miami, so he's very raw at the position as well. Could be an ascending player as he heads into the National Football League. All right, let's stick with NFL.com, Paul. Lance Zierlein, who does all their draft pro prospect profiles, does a great job. He is the Giants selecting Elijah Vera Tucker out of USC. Now, a lot of analysts think he is a guard, but he did play left tackle and did a good job for them in his last year with the Trojans. This is where people are looking at the Giants and saying, well, they have inexperience on their interior offensive line. So maybe they're going to take an offensive lineman who can play guard. Well, what do you do if you don't see any guys who are great guards on the board? You take a tackle and you project them to guard and you move them inside. Now, he is Rashawn Slater and Patrick Sertan off the board, by the way, which is why he gave Vera Tucker to the Giants. All right, two more. Our friends over at the Draft Network, Paul, they do a great job. Joe Marino, Rashawn Slater to the Giants. Very similar player to Vera Tucker, but more people seem to think he can stick a tackle. Yeah, I think more people do agree with that, John. And quite frankly, Slater has been in the vicinity of 10 to 15, I think, on most boards for quite a long time. Yeah, and he was also a 2020 opt-out, by the way, but his 2019 tape immaculate. Finally, Paul, Kyle Crabb, let's go back to the edge rushers. Aziz Ojolari, eight and a half sacks for Georgia last year, can bend the edge, great hands. And a guy who has been climbing up on the boards recently, they've expected to see a lot more out of him at his pro day. And more of a stand-up rusher, doesn't yes. have his hand in the dirt, a bit of a smaller... Correct edge guy. That's a look at the latest mock drafts. Expect a lot more of these to hit the internet as we get closer to the draft, which by the way, folks, less than six weeks away. Can't wait for it to start in Cleveland at the end of April.